Well, for a uh, second consecutive season, it's the Calgary Mountaineers, Okotoks Raiders battling for a Provincial Junior A Lacrosse Championship tonight. The Mounties, who won Game 7 last year to take the title. Game 1 was tonight, Stupa Part Arena, 2-0 Mounties when the league-leading goal scorer Dan Taylor snipes his 12th of the playoffs. 3-zip Calgary out in front, but the Raiders answer shortly after Ben Freeman the shot. Loose ball gathered up by Brett Barron. And he scores to make it 3-1. A little later, Jordan Prisco takes the bullet pass and then circles all the way to a good shooting position and rifles one. His second snipe of the game, 4-1 Mounties. Now 4-2. The Mounties score late in the second period. Wes Gardner in transition takes the Ryan Gould pass, makes no mistake. And hey, the Mounties, they survive game one with a 7-6 victory. Game two tomorrow night, 8 o'clock in Stupa Park. All right, game two of the Junior A Provincial Lacrosse Final tonight from Stupa Park Arena. Game one went to the defending champion Calgary Mountaineers. So the Raiders looking to even things up tonight on the road. It was game number two, by the way. It took seven games to decide the Provincial Championship last year between these two teams who went to the Mounties. Already 1-0 Raiders, Kevin Pym holding Catoni playing catch. Pym finishes it off, his fifth of the playoffs. 2-0 Raiders. Mounties cut that lead in half. Dan Taylor, the All-Star, spots Patrick Henry. He scores his eighth of the playoffs. It's 2-1. But it was all Okotoks from there. Late first quarter, Aaron Tackaberry steps into one. He's got two. 3-1 Raiders after one. The offensive onslaught continues in the second. In transition, Cody uh, Carson McCormick to Brett Barron. His second goal in as many games, 4-1 Raiders. And then Cole Sheen with an unbelievable one-handed play and then finishes it off for the goal. Stays out of the crease too, more impressive. 6-1 at that point as the Raiders go on to take it. 8-4 the series locked up at one as it shifts to Okotoks on Wednesday night for game three. Well, the Okotoks Raiders were in a fine position this afternoon. Junior A Lacrosse Championship, two straight wins had them up in the series with an opportunity to take a commanding series lead tonight over the Calgary Mountaineers on their home floor. Looking like the Okotoks Sportscast tonight, not Calgary Sportscast, but it was the Mountaineers opening up the scoring. Kyle Gray is, hits Patrick Henry. He's got 11 in the playoffs. It was 1-0 Mounties. One of the finest players in Alberta lacrosse, Holden Catoni, showing off why. Look at the sweet hands in front, left all alone, and he makes good, bouncing in his ninth of the postseason. We got a tie game later. Cam Coplin, he takes the pass inside and beats the keeper, Jordan Cancel. It was 2-1 Raiders. Now 2-2. It was a great battle behind the net and the Mounties. They come away with the ball. Patrick Henry spots Jordan Prisco. He calls for it and he makes good. Rifles his team leading 10th of this uh, playoffs. 3-2 Mounties. But the Raiders get it back. Cole Sheen. He just steps out and hammers it home. We're all squared three. Second period. Now 4-3 Raiders. They work it around and Jordan Getz just takes control. Gets it to the front. And then while falling goes five hole, he had two in the middle frame, five three, the Raiders lead. And they would just keep it going from there. Kevin Pym, the outside shot, that beats Cancel, his seventh. Now six three, the Raiders run away with it. And Matt Christensen scores after a great fake here, fires it home, seven three, they lead at that point. They go on to win it 11 5. Raiders now one win away from a provincial championship. They can do that tomorrow night, 8 p.m., from Stupa Partering. Alberta Junior A Lacrosse. The trophy was in the building tonight for Game 5 of the Provincial Final. The Calgary Mountaineers hoping that trophy would stay tucked away safely at a packed house at Stupa Part Arena. Probably hoping for a lot of the same as the Mounties on their home floor. Looking to continue that series with the Okotoks Raiders. The Raiders, well, they're trying to end it tonight. They were down a lot throughout this game. In fact, the entire game. They tried to mount a comeback late, though. It a pair of goals from Matt Christensen. Cut into the Mounties lead. It was 11-8, but the Mounties quickly snuffed that out. His hat-trick goal, Austin Giroff. It was 12-8. And then this game got ugly at the end. A couple of fights showing you exactly why this is one heated Alberta lacrosse live rivalry. Aaron Tackerberry goes after Jake Archdeacon after he slammed Travis Getz into the, into the wall. And then, of course, they drop the mitts. It's actually Tackaberry going after Ian Buchanan. They throw some absolute bombs. It was feisty and fiery at the end of this game. And luckily, we've got more of it because the Mounties win it 12-8. And we've got ourselves a game number six. It'll go Thursday night back in Okotoks. 
as this uh, battle continues between Okotoks and Calgary. Lacrosse in the Junior A Championship today, seventh and deciding game between Calgary Mountaineers and Okotoks Raiders. Jordan gets for the Raiders, good shot, 6-1 Okotoks. Chance for another for Calgary, but keeper David Horn. Kenneth Onsen stops Cody Graydon on the break. Mounties pull their goalie. Dustin Rakedall gets the empty netter. Raiders winning this one, 13-3. Okotoks going to the Canadian Championship, the Minto Cup. Next week in New Westminster, British Columbia. Look at that. Oh, that'll look nicely hanging at the arena in Okotoks. There is your final score.